www.mindmaptoriches.com. Positive Thinking Tips, Three Powerful Ways to Stimulate Positive Thinking by Jeremy Gislason. Positive thinking is a very important element in your life. It helps you create a more productive atmosphere at work, in school, or at home, and it helps you develop a better attitude towards life in general. People who often dwell on negative matters are usually those who wake up each morning feeling as heavy as lead. They see life as an everyday affair of problems, and as a result, they are more stressed than any normal person should be. They have a perpetual frown on their face and have forgotten how to smile properly. However, even with today's not-so-perfect world, you can still have a wonderful day, every day. There are easy ways to encourage positive thinking for almost any situation. Number one, whistle a happy tune. Whistling a happy tune may come from a children's song, but it does share a work of dispelling negativity away. Let me cite a story to expound on its powerful effect. Ray was the kind of person who generally did well on reports and presentations. His professors all had a good impression of him. Still, when it came time for the mock defense of his thesis, he was as nervous as prey cornered by a predator. His stomach was doing cartwheels, and he just couldn't do enough breathing exercises to calm himself down. Then he remembered a song he used to sing as a kid. Top of the World by the Carpenters. Ray started humming the tune softly to himself. In just a few seconds, he felt his nausea dissolve. He found his confidence and resolve returning. You can do the same thing when you're sad, angry, or anxious. Find a happy tune to hum, and this will quickly reinforce positive emotions and positive thinking. Number two, contribute to charity. Has a beggar ever approached you for alms? Do you pass by homeless people on your way to work? One of the easiest ways to encourage positive thinking is by helping out those in need. Helping others gives you a nice, warm feeling in your heart that will stay with you for the rest of the day. I have seen a few people actually buy food and give them to beggars on the street. These beggars must feel a bit of happiness upon receiving the food from strangers. If you look into their eyes, there is gratitude in them, but if you look into the giver's eyes, there is also something twinkling in their eye as well, for on that day they have made a difference in someone else's life. A lot of people feel bad because they see themselves as useless. They don't think that they can make a difference in their workplace or even at home. Sometimes, though, it only takes the right opportunity to open their eyes to what they can do. Those who have experienced helping others out feel better about themselves and thus can perform better at work. They develop a more positive outlook about life and about their own capabilities in general. Sounds easy enough, doesn't it? You can contribute in your own way, no matter what your situation is. Let's say you're working in an office. If you're on your way to make coffee and your coworker is still neck deep into his work, you can offer to bring them a cup as well. Number three, put it on paper. One of the ways to encourage positive thinking is by literally putting the words on paper. You can easily write positive affirmations down on a piece of paper and then post it somewhere where they can easily be seen every day. These affirmations usually begin with, I have or I am. Use the present tense to make the affirmation more real. An example of a positive written message goes something like this. I'm a healthy and happy person. For starters, you can create one that says today is a wonderful day. A lot of people respond really well to visual messages. To see is to believe, remember? By seeing today is a wonderful day on your bedroom wall, you're almost programming yourself to have a pleasant day. It's the complete opposite of those who wake up each day feeling as heavy as lead. By staying with a negative thought from bed to breakfast, they're actually setting themselves up for a lousy day at work. Now that you know what staying grumpy can do to you, it's now time to take charge and reverse your situation. Positive thinking is not rocket science. You can be a teenager or a senior citizen and still apply positive thinking in your life. Keep in mind that the simplest actions can uplift your mood. Once you're used to being in a positive thinking mindset, everything else will become a breeze. Discover how to live a happier, healthier, and wealthier life with Mind Map to Riches series of self-improvement books, audios, and mind maps. Go to www.mindmaptoriches.com.